Question number four, Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, this question is to the Minister for Seniors. Does she stand by her statement, quote, we are very in favour of the Super Gold Card and there are absolutely no plans to downgrade it in any way, shape or form? Question. The Honourable Maggie Barry. As the Minister for Seniors, I am 100% behind the Super Gold Card, as has been my predecessor, Joe Goodhue. Uh, we believe that seniors who paid taxes all their lives deserve to have discounts and concessions. Uh, I am absolutely approving of the way in which they get transport entitlements, and I think the system's working really well. We have added to it in a meaningful way from extremely humble beginnings in 2007. <laughs> Supplementary. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. As the Super Gold Card can no longer be used in Auckland without buying a hop card, isn't this downgrading the value and universal aspect of the Super Gold Card? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Maggie Berry. In a word, no. The Auckland Transport uh, Hop Card, as of the 12th of August, had 97% of Super Gold Card public transport users signed up. That represents 108,303 Super Gold Card holders so far. Supplementary. Yes. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. By capping the funding and by transferring Super Gold Card responsibility to regional councils, isn't this just a way of downgrading Super Gold Card free off peak transport by stealth? The Honourable Maggie Barry. Indeed, it is not. This national government is absolutely committed to the Super Gold Card and to the transport concessions. The changes to the bulk funding are outside my ministerial responsibilities, but they did not change in any way the entitlements. Seniors can continue to use their Gold Card as they always have. And in fact, by lifting the moratorium, which was also part of the changes that we brought in, we have enabled a lack, a lack of monopoly, and there is now the possibility that there are places all around New Zealand that are able to offer the transport concessions that were not able to in the past. So we have improved the access to transport. Supplementary. <clears throat> Order. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. By capping Super Gold Card funding, how does this allow for the increase in the number of senior citizens and therefore their increase of off-peak transport usage without effectively downgrading services. It's called Max. The Honourable Maggie Barry. We are aware, as that member appears to be as well, that we are an ageing population. We will continue to fund access to all discounts and all concessions that super gold and, and in, super annuitants, indeed, are absolutely entitled to. This government is completely committed to um, helping ensure that uh, New Zealand super annuitants continue to be able to get discounts and to travel, and we will continue to ensure that they are well supported, because it is a system that we have supported unlike that party, which did very little. From 200 uh, outlets that offered concessions, we put it up to 12,000. Question 